Hey Credit Warriors, Credit Shifu here, and yes, there is a new credit scoring model in town, the new FICO 10. Now, information about this did come out a couple of weeks ago. At the time I was away, I wasn't able to do a video about it. So I'm gonna give you all the information now, and we're gonna go through and analyze uh, this new FICO 10 score. Now, first of all, according to people from Fair Isaac's company and also analysts and stuff, about 40 million Americans' scores could drop because of this new credit scoring algorithm, and they could drop by as much as about 20 points. On the good side though, another 40 million Americans' credit scores may in fact uh, increase uh, by up to 20 points because of this new algorithm. So let's now take a look at what is coming in, what is changing, uh, and what is gonna be basically given more weight to. The score will now give more weight to missed payments within the last two years. So in other words, if you miss a payment, your score will drop by a higher amount uh, than it would have done previously. Credit utilization. Credit utilization, if you don't know, basically it's the percentage of the overall credit limit on your revolving credit accounts that you are using. So if you had a $10,000 credit limit on a credit card and you used $4,000 of that, that would be a 40% credit utilization. And obviously the lower the better. With current scoring models, we say keep it under 30%. Uh, perhaps with this new scoring model, you're gonna need to keep it lower to you know stop a negative uh, effect on your score. Maybe you're gonna need to keep it under 20 or under 15%. Then personal loans are also gonna be given more weight to and they're gonna be seen as negative. Now, the reason for this is that personal loans are often you know, a little bit more risky because you don't really know what the person is using them for. If you compare that to say mortgages or car loans that both have an asset tied to them, okay, it's very obvious what that thing is for. It can only be used for that. A personal loan is basically you just get money and you know, when you apply for it, you probably tell them what you're gonna use it for in the application, but you could go off and just use it for something else. Um, so they're seen as more risky. Then lastly, trend data will also be taken into account. And what we mean by this is that, let's say your credit utilization is trending upwards, like each month it's getting higher and higher. So 40%, 45%, 48% it's trending up. Um, your score will decrease more quickly because of that upward trend. And if your credit utilization is trending downward, then you'll be rewarded and you have a more of a decrease in your score, okay? So it's gonna be taken into more account uh, whether you're trending upwards or whether you're trending downwards in the amount of money you owe on credit cards. So basically to sum it up, it seems with this new scoring model, if you do well, your scores will increase more quickly. Uh, and if you do poorly, you miss payments, you trend upwards with your debt, uh, you're gonna tank your score more quickly as well. And so this score is basically about identifying risky individuals more easily. And thus the real winners with this are the banks and the lenders. So Fair Isaacs, uh, the company behind FICO, FICO stands for Fair Isaacs Company, um, they estimate, according to you know tests that they run, et cetera, simulations, uh, that credit card companies will be able to reduce delinquencies by 10% by using this new scoring model. Auto lenders will be able to reduce delinquencies in their auto loans by 9%, and mortgage lenders will be able to reduce delinquencies by 17% um, if they adopt this new scoring model. But it is a big if because lenders, banks, etc., are very slow to adopt the new versions of FICO scores. Mortgage lenders that use Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are actually using what they call the classic uh, FICO score uh, to do mortgages. Mortgages in general use either two, four, or five. FICO two, four, or five um, for mortgage lending, okay, lending decisions. So they are way, way behind. It's been that way for like 20 years or so. Uh, they're probably not changing anytime soon. Uh, bank card, you know, credit card and auto lenders typically are using uh, FICO 8, which isn't even the latest version. The current latest version is FICO 9 uh, before this FICO 10 comes out later in the year, okay? So they're not even using the latest version yet. So it's gonna be a while, okay? It's definitely gonna be a long time before mortgage lenders adopt this new score, if at all. Uh, bank card and uh, auto loan lenders probably will adopt it, um, but most of them haven't even adopted FICO 9 yet. So it's definitely gonna take them a while uh, before they adopt it. So, you know, don't think that just because this is coming out this year that all, you know, lenders and banks and et cetera are gonna immediately adopt this new system. Uh, they're just not. It's gonna take a few years, and with mortgages, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, 
um, if at all. They may never adopt it, we'll see. Um, but what can you do to prepare for it? Let's just have a look at that, supposing that you know you do wanna be prepared for it. Well, the first thing you want to do is stay on top of your payments, okay? Because it gives more weight to missed payments within the last two years. Now, obviously with any credit score tutorial, we tell you to stay on top of your payments anyway. So that's just a good practice anyway. Try not to have any missed payments on your account. That's just the best way to be. Secondly, keep your utilization low. Um, at the moment, we recommend under 30% or maybe even under 10% if you're really trying to build your credit fast. Um, so with this new scoring model, you just have to emphasize that even more. You might wanna keep under 20% as standard. And then if you're really trying to improve your credit, keep under 5% perhaps. I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna work, but in general, just keeping utilization low. And with that utilization, you either want to be stable each month at the same utilization or trending lower. Don't trend higher because that higher, that upward trend is actually apparently uh, going to, you know, have an effect on your score. Okay, even if your utilization isn't that high, just the fact that it's trending upwards um, is going to have, is going to magnify the effect. Okay, it's going to drop your score by more. Um, and so, how do you do that? Well, you know, if you make a big purchase one month and you're afraid that it's going to show an upward trend, just pay that off before the end of your statement, um, so that that doesn't actually report to the credit bureaus, and then you can trend lower or you know keep your utilization stable. And then just the last thing is to avoid personal loans because that's one of the things as well that more weight is going to be given to in a negative way. Okay, they're going to be seen in a more negative light. So, guys, that is kind of uh, the lowdown on the FICO. 10 10. Um, obviously, we'll give you more information about it as we hear more. Apparently, it's coming out as early as this summer uh, or possibly, you know, at, by the end of the year at least. Okay, so coming out in the second half of 2020, but like we said, may not be adopted by lenders straight away. And in the case of mortgages, it may be a very long time uh, before they adopt it. Guys, what do you think of this new FICO score, etc.? Please leave your comments below. Uh, I'd also like to say that since we're back from our trip now, now our wallet store is now open, it has reopened. So if you do want to buy one of the Credit Shifu wallets, um, you know, click the link below. Uh, we'll also leave some of our favorite credit cards for fair credit. So if you are building your credit score, you want something to help you improve your credit score, an easy credit card to get, um, we'll leave some of those below as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>